Personal projects are a great way to learn by doing hands-on. You stay practical and engage in ways you can apply the concepts and skills. And personal projects will also allow you to be a little creative and innovative, which can serve as portfolio for certain technologies, especially the front-end technologies. But for back-end technologies, again, it is not about showing off, but it is about doing the uh, right things. Personal projects will provide you an opportunity to apply your knowledge to real world problems. Here, the key is to pick problems which are realistic enough. I have seen personally many projects which are more about trying to show off skills of using a particular language instead of trying to solve some realistic problem. So instead of building certain games or uh, certain esoteric applications which no one can use, Try to build something like a directory watcher, a DNS server, a key value store, which is very concrete, which is one of the technology, which is actually a technology that you will see in open source to compare with as well. So be very practical based on the technology which you are working with. Be practical. Don't try to build things which no one can use. So when I say building a game, if you are a database developer, building a game is not going to serve your purpose. If you are a game developer, then building a database is not going to serve you any purpose. So be judicious with what your goals are and pick a project which you, you can complete. It is not about looking cool. It is about getting it done. If you treat your personal project professionally enough, you will learn development skills for managing and organizing a software engineering project, which is extremely valuable in the industry. Because as I have told you multiple times during this course, software as a business is a lot more than coding. You cannot wait till you have five to eight years experience to start learning these things. You have to continuously learn till that point where you become eligible to accept those responsibilities. People try to become managers overnight and they fail overnight as well. Don't be that person. Just to elaborate a little more about the selection of a project, choose a project that aligns with your interests and goals. Remember, your goals matter a lot. Your interests will be secondary, but your goals matter more. Consider the programming language and technology you want to learn or improve in. Languages like C++ and Java can be really hard if you learn them without any purpose because they are really, really vast. Even Python can get out of hand if you start working with all the third party libraries which a course is trying to teach you, which you really don't need. So set your scope, pick a language and then align it with a project. Be professional about this thing. Think of it as if you are building a solution for an end customer. Ensure that the project is achievable and within your current skill set and available resources. I have seen many open source projects created by peers who are not even close to achieving the end goal. They are just trying to do something ambitious for the sake of it. It is a waste of time. Don't do that. Do something which is extremely essential to your skills and you can get it done. I have a dedicated course about how to write a server and what are the challenges you will face. Writing a server is one of the best ways to learn any programming language. If you write a DNS server, you will be writing a lot of data structures, you will be writing file IOs, you will be writing network operations. You, This is the core of any programming project. So if you can get this done correctly, you are in good shape. Let's quickly walk over how you can execute your project. So first define the project's object, objective and scope. Break down the project into smaller tasks and set milestones. Using a project tracking tool will definitely help you here. So identify the required resources such as programming language, libraries, and tools. Allocate time for each task and establish a timeline. Begin working on the project tracking uh, project, track progress, and make adjustments as necessary. Complete the project and reflect on the learning experience. This is basically how Scrum is done in software engineering teams as well. So you are not only learning programming for your personal prosperity, you are actually getting better at your job as well. So the earlier uh, you are in your career, the better it is for you to start doing things in a professional manner. So please 
try to identify tools and try to start doing things in a systematic manner and again i will reiterate please focus on getting things done not just starting thousand things but finishing 10 things is going to add more value to your career so i am literally begging you to finish things and become better instead of just talking about starting thousand things